good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today we're taking you through the mdt wwe action figure garage ladies and gentlemen yes ma'am we have all of these beautiful looking vehicles right here for your wwe action figures and i'm going to run through all of them and we're going to break down all of them telling you all the features they got you know telling you about everything you know what you can do with them with your figures and just sort of breaking them all down i think we've done a review on all of these maybe individually but uh today we're going to check them all out if you guys have missed those reviews or what have you whatever the case is you know today you're going to learn some cool fig hacks and different stuff let's go ahead and dive right in guys let's go ahead and start off with the one that i think everybody knows i mean i think if you go to your local well i don't know i i, I feel like this thing is sold out but right here you look how clean and sleek this is we lower the camera down you see how great this looks anyways you got your beautiful wrecking slam mobile from mattel themselves and we saw this featured on an episode of monday night raw didn't we braun Strowman came out he beat the hell out of the car he ripped the door off he beat the crap out of the vehicle just totally unnecessary just totally you know he, he literally did that to push this the sales of this vehicle it was right, right around the time this car was hitting shelves but anyways guys you got a ton of features with this you have a breakaway hood which does break in half you also have the breakaway windshield you have the breakaway door the front fender comes off the rear fender comes off the trunk i think also comes off the doors come off the steering wheel comes out the seats come out i mean you you have a ton of features going on with this thing as well as trunk storage and you see the trunk just falls off because it's a cheap piece of trash no but seriously let's go ahead and reattach this see if i can do this all with one hand here but anyways, there it is. We have the first car, the Wrecking Slam Mobile. Very nice vehicle. I think this one is a very nice deal. You know, I think it's like 25, 30 bucks. It also comes with a Braun Strowman basic figure, which nobody really gives a crap about. But you know, you have to mention it in the features. It does come with that. But there's the first vehicle. It's very sleek and nice. Uh, but the next one that we have, guys, is this one right here. And I think this is called the Driven Dump Truck. I think that's what it's called. You can see there it says Driven right there. You got the D logo here. Here. Really cool looking dump truck, you guys. If uh, if you guys watched the MDT Royal Rumble, this truck was featured in the Extreme Championship match. If you guys have never seen that, definitely go on the channel. MDT Royal Rumble, there was an epic Fatal 4. Some people call it the best match in MDT history, so you may want to go check that out. Really insane matchup, but uh, this one does have operational doors just like uh, this car. If we didn't show that off, this one does have operational doors, as you see, but this one does as well. Um, I don't think a WWE figure will fit up in there. I mean, this it's pretty small unless it's like horn swaggle or something. Uh, this door is actually on a weird like little hinge there. Look how freaking fast that closes. Anyways, you have uh, some buttons on the top here, and you can turn on the headlights. It makes the engine noises, and on the back, uh, the back button makes these top lights up here light up. So, I mean, you got, a, got a, you got a lot of good features going on, and not only that, but you can lift this up here, so that is beautiful. You can actually dump dirt out, and I think this back, yeah, the back portion also opens up. So, I mean, you get a lot of free playability. You can do a lot of stuff with this, spinning the hoe around. Again, you do get this back flap right here that does push open like so. And you can put your figures in here. You can load this hoe up. You can have, uh, I don't know, you can do that spot where Undertaker choke slams Rikishi off the top of the Hell in a Cell into the back of the dump truck. And uh, you can jump off the dump truck. They finally spotted him. Oh, he's coming down! Oh, the, the strength of the strength. Lashley. Oh, oh, and he bounces his spinal cord off that truck. Oh, and he throws it through the windshield of the Camaro in the parking lot. Oh, Jose completely. You can do a package pile driver off the dump truck onto the hood of the car. What in the hell? Kevin Owens just taking everyone out of this van. What is he planning now with John Morrison? No way. Oh, my oh God! My oh, my God! Kevin Owens! With a package pile driver. That's it. It's out. It's everyone's dead. Under the hood of the car. He's going for the cover here. And it's just a really nice thing. I mean, I, I did do an in-depth review of it, but it's really nice. I really enjoy it. Uh, if I had to pick between these two, though, I really don't know which one I'd pick. I like the fact that this one can break away, but this one's much, you know, it's much taller. It's kind of got some depth to it. I, I don't know. You let me know down in the comment section below which is your favorite at the end, but that is the, that's the first two. Uh, next, guys, we have this black truck, and I, I cannot remember the name of the dolls. I'll, I'll plug it in, but um, it, it's called, maybe, uh, what is, the, maybe Tori? 
$3 or something like that. Anyways, I think they're Target exclusive, but anyways, they have this uh, this car line. They actually have a few of them. They have a convertible. They have like a tractor trailer. They have uh, this truck here, and it came all in pink. What I did was I took off all of the pink paint, covered it in black spray paint. You guys can see this hoe is dusty because it just rots over there. I mean, my God. Need to get some more action out of this thing. But the black truck here, what we had was, uh, it was pink and we spray painted that whole black. I added silver details to all the, you know, silver detailed areas. You got the grill right here. You got all this good stuff going on. It has operational doors on it. I actually think it had a radio that worked at one time. It never worked for me. It said that it worked, you know, it was a workable, functional radio. That didn't work, so they totally lied, freaking uh, lying to me on the packaging. Was that false advertisements, what I'd like to call it there. In the back, you do have an operational tailgate here, which you can store stuff. You can just store the trusty knife, the MDT trusty knife back there. Load that hoe up there. So you do have the uh, the back portion there for the tailgate if you wanted to do that. So a lot of functionality with this one as well. Which what that's what probably makes all these uh, these vehicles great for WWE figures is because you know we we love WWE, we love wrestling, and if we want to, we can just load up weapons, right? We can load up a ladder in the back here. It doesn't fit that well, but you could do it if you wanted to we also have multiple tables over here that we could just throw back here so we just take two tables stuck them in the back there and there you go so that's pretty I, I love that feature of it that makes it awesome so we have uh, the, the tailgate area there with loading up weapons and stuff I'm dropping everything everywhere but that is the third vehicle it's the truck uh, maybe that maybe one of these three is your favorite I highly doubt this one is look at this teeny like look at this teeny tiny the final vehicle guys is this teeny tiny taxi vehicle. Look how small this thing is. I literally just picked this up for uh, decoration at the MDT Royal Rumble because we were running it out of Madison Square Garden. You know, we wanted it to be a part of the set and we had it up there like the WWE uh, Royal Rumble or WWF Royal Rumble from 2001 and uh, I, I wanted it to be like that so I just put it up there and it you know it looked like it was in scale when it was up on the stage you couldn't even tell but you know I just bought it for props and I think I paid more money for this than I did for this which is just absurd and that's just such a dumb deal on my part but that's that's the reality of it man I spent all that money and uh, it actually has some buttons back here that you can press but I put some electrical tape over that so that you can't see it you can't press them and I didn't feel that I didn't want the buttons Buttons, the colorful buttons showing up so I figured put some black tape over it and the people will never notice and you know it just sat up there right there's the MDT Royal Rumble stage it sat up there nobody even noticed it and I got away with it until just now I told on myself what do you know but there is that guys I mean really really good stuff I love this I love the taxi I love the truck um, again the taxi sucks you know as far as functionality you're not gonna get much you can't put anybody in it I think the door opens yeah the door opens but yeah you're not even you're not getting even you're not getting anything in there but the rest of them, uh, besides the truck, so just two. You have the truck and you have, not this truck, you have that truck and you have this car over here that you can put your fig, uh, your figures in and uh, stuff like that. But I think uh, that about does it for the MDT Garage, guys. We broke down all four vehicles. I would love to know down in the comment section below which one is your favorite. Uh, if I had to pick, oh man, I, I don't know which one I would pick. I really do love the black truck. But I do love the dump truck as well. You know, we got some memories attached to this with that MDT Extreme Championship match. People say, they literally say, they tell me all the time that that was their favorite match of all time. So maybe that could get it. But this car was also featured in that match. And it was a part, these two were a part of that final spot in that matchup, which ultimately led to the winner. But I don't know. I, I, I really like this one as well. There's a lot more things you can do with it. I think I'm going to go with the convertible just because you got all these things going on. Uh, easy to get figures in and out. You got the storage, you get the doors, you get the breakaway hood, breakaway windshield. I mean, there's a ton of features going on with this. If you would like to grab any of these, I think you can find them all on eBay. Again, uh, I think as I broke them down, I'm going to put up some information on the screen. So if you guys would like to, uh, you know, search them out or try and track them down or whatever the case may be, you can do that. But another idea I had is for an action figure match, maybe like a, maybe like a parking lot brawl between two superstars. I don't know. We'll see about that. But yes, guys, that is it for the MDT Garage.
I feel like this is like MTV Cribs. I, I doubt any of you even even watch that. If you guys if you guys remember MDC, MTV Cribs, hit me down in the comment section below. I would love to know how many people watched that as a kid. But one more time, guys, vote down below. Do you like the red Camaro uh, wrecking slammobile? Do you like the white and blue dump truck featured in the Extreme Championship match? Do you like the black truck avalanche looking style vehicle, or do you like the mini taxi? Nobody nobody likes the mini taxi. But thank you guys for watching. That is going to do it for today's video. Uh, I have a special video coming tomorrow which i'm very excited about i hope you guys will enjoy it as well but subscribe to the channel for more epic wwe figure videos follow me on instagram and twitter at my damn toys and i will see you guys in the next video thank you